What's up everybody? My name is Russ with rwgresearch.com and also quantumgravityresearch.org. So check it out. Today I'm just going to show you something briefly. I didn't want to show you this because I didn't want everybody to get excited and then ask me a bunch of questions later. But I'm going to do it anyway because I got people asking me questions now. So um, here it is. A fellow by the name of Scott, and um, I've mentioned him before in the past, has spent a lot of time making what's inside this box. Okay. And what is inside this box? Well, this is why he sent it to me, and it took me a while to figure it out. So, let me just show you what's inside this box. Okay, here we are. This is a cool box. It's got a little latch on it. It's kind of cool. A little peg to hold it in place. Da -da -da -da. This is what's inside this box. Alright, that is a... Ceramic Stan Myers injector. Now, um, the only difference between this one and a, and a normal one is this one actually has a different tip inserted into it, which was machined externally from the length of this piece, and that was because there were some initial problems. But I'm going to go ahead and take this thing apart so you can see it. All the pieces are here. Everything is cut to spec. Ceramic insulator. Now there is the ceramic insulator. Scott did an amazing job on that. And uh that is the Mycar ceramic piece that I showed you guys a while back. And the uh, these are to, to Stan's drawings, so we didn't modify anything. Polished tip. So when you put this in here, it sets against the back. Okay, it goes back a certain distance. That's the way... Uh, Stan had it in his drawings. It appears that uh, another individual may have threaded the back side of this to make it adjustable, which is a great idea. I, I believe that's what it was. Here is the, um, the ball and spring. If we wanted to insert it in here, Scott sent these with me. If I can get them out. All right. Let's see if we can get a focus. I'm gonna put the ball and spring in there anyway. So there's what the tip looks like. And um, if you look down inside of here, you can see that taper. Now again, see how the tip is a little bit different? That's because this is actually an insert. Um, and we did that because we had some initial problems and instead of making the whole piece just for testing purposes, um, we're going to test it this way and if we think we like it, well then we'll go ahead and go back and finish that as one solid piece. But, um, but this works no big deal. Works as well. Oops, I just lost the ball and spring. Put it back in there. All right, so the insulator fits in here nicely. This is the way it looks. With the ball and spring in there. I'll go ahead and put the top on. So you can blow in it. Okay. And then uh, the uh, backstop holder piece and the back nut. These are all one at a time hand machine parts. 
I guess I gotta flip that over. There we go. So there it is. It's hard to see, but there's the uh, the full injector. So along with the beautiful box to hold it all in place. Safe and secure in the wooden box. All right, well that's really what I wanted to show you. And uh, I got this light in the background again. Ah. Okay, a um, few people were asking me, so there it is. The injector is um, complete. Scott did pretty much, I guess, all of the work on this actually uh, machining. Um, there was one other individual that machined the tip, but we decided to make a new insert because it had some vibration in there. Um, so thanks to everyone who um, who had a touch in this. Um, I know a lot of people have been messing around with uh, making these things, and uh, they're very, very, very difficult to make, especially the micar. That stuff is very difficult to make. Now what I'm actually going to be doing is um, casting these ceramic inserts. So I'm going to mold this ceramic insert and then uh, send it off to one of my buddies, you know who you are, and see if he can cast, cast them instead of having the machine, because machining them is very, very, very time consuming and expensive. Alright, well, there it is. Have a good day. Just wanted to show you that it's done. No intentions on testing this right now. I have a lot of other projects going on, priority things. I got stuff going on in my daily life that I got to take care of and um, lots of housework lately. So, patience, my friends. Eventually, I'll get there. Someone might beat me to it. Who knows? Peace. Have a good day. Later.